Hey guys, General Tony here, your host, and welcome back, my friends, to a brand new episode on the channel. So just a quick announcement, the next video we upload onto the channel is going to be my new apartment tour and my puppy reveal. So not this video, guys, but the next one I upload onto the channel, I'm going to show you a tour of my brand new apartment I just moved into, and I'm going to reveal to you what my new puppies are. Loads of you keep asking me, so that is going to be the next episode. Leave a like on this video if you are excited to see that, guys. So check this out. We are back on the main village inside of COC, and for sure, this is going to be the second last episode before we max out this base, guys, because if I remove everything inside of the base, all we have left to do is five level 12 walls, guys. We've only got that. We just need to do five of them. I've done two more this morning, meaning we've just got five remaining, and we're going to probably complete the game, max out the base within the next 24 hours, guys. It is definitely exciting, but I do hope there will be some new content coming into the game. So what we're going to do right now, live inside of this episode, we are going to burn some Town Hall 11s to the ground by using what is probably my favorite current attack strategy in the game, guys. Balloons, dragons, and baby dragons. It is one of the most awesome combos, and we're going to see if we can crush some Town Hall 11 bases. So we're literally going to cook up our army, guys. That is the strategy I'm using. It is six dragons, four baby dragons, We've got quite a lot of balloons, and uh, we're bringing five of those uh, those wall breakers as well. The spells I'm using, one clone spell, two rage spells, and three head spells. I'm not actually using a poison. And of course, we've got our heroes. The Grand Warden is going to be set to air. The King and the Queen are going to be the kill squad, guys. So let's see if we can get some more money, some gold, some elixir, and also possibly get another star bonus inside of this episode. Don't forget to let me know down below in that comment section, though, guys. What is your favorite attack strategy inside of COC right now? Mine is definitely this. Balloons, dragons, and baby dragons. Let me know your favorite troop combo down below. And you never know, I might try inside of one of the next episodes. So, let's do this, guys. We are looking for some money. We're definitely looking for gold and elixir. Dark elixir I don't really need. So, we're going to be back in a couple of moments. We'll see what we can find. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, guys. As I said, the next video will be my brand new apartment tour and, of course, the puppy reveal. I wonder what breed they're going to be, guys. Stay tuned to find out. So stay tuned. We'll be back in a minute. Okay, so check this out. We've just landed on this town hall level 11, and this is absolutely perfect. Quarter of a million gold, almost 400,000 elixir, plus a loot bonus, and we can get some stars towards the star bonus. And check it out, guys. He's only got level 3 Inferno Towers. Town Hall and the Eagle Artillery is in the center of the base. We could do a really good job here. Possibly do some real destruction. So what I'm going to do, my plan is to take out this air defense with the Barbarian King and take out that air defense with the Archer Queen or the other way around. I'm not really too sure yet. You know what? Let's use some wall breakers, blow up those walls. And uh, let's also get in here. That's just going to give me great access into these uh, these air defenses, guys. So, I'm going to use the Barbarian King, I think, on the right-hand side just to kill the opposing Barbarian King. And uh, we're going to see what happens. So, there goes the King. I'm going to drop the Queen in just over here. Hopefully, she's actually going to get in there, guys. Let me just drop a Baby Dragon there to make sure the Queen doesn't go all the way up to the top. We do need her to really get in and take out that air defense. So there goes the Barbarian King's ability, guys. Level 45 King against level 45. Mine, of course, is going to win because mine has his ability. Swinging back over to the left, the Queen has already taken out the second air defense, and it looks like we've got a great start, guys. So we are up to a total of 16% damage. Let me just drop this Earthquake spell in the center. Just do a little bit of damage to the Eagle Artillery, guys. So it looks like there's a great funnel, and what we're going to do, we're literally going to drop in these dragons like that, guys. Baby dragons in Grand Warden. And then, of course, the balloons just on a beautiful spread, guys. We're going to go with two haste spells, get these moving nice and early, and a rage spell straight into the center. So this could be a three-star. I'm not really too sure. Let's just kind of see what happens, guys. So here we go. We've got the entire army moving. There goes the Grand Warden ability. Rage spell, sorry, clone spell, and the final rage spell into the center. Now, we still have... Our, uh, our baby dragon remaining, guys. Now, I'm trying to get a three-star on this base. I'm not really sure if it's possible, but let's just kind of find out and see what happens. There goes the final Inferno Tower. And we're going to drop this baby dragon. Hold on. We're not going to drop it just yet. Let's use it there, guys. Let's see if we can take out some extra percent. So, hoping for a triple. I'm not really sure if it's going to happen. I don't think we have enough firepower, guys. But a two-star 
is still awesome. And of course, we have managed to walk away with a load of gold elixir. And of course, even dark elixir, which I don't really even need. So 59% damage, guys. Let's see if we can get 70. We got one dragon just about left alive over on this right-hand side. And he's pretty much going to take out the rest of those buildings, guys. So check it out. Turn 11. Got absolutely wiped out. We did not have a uh, an attacking clan castle. We could have possibly three-starred if I used a kill squad, guys. But what we're going to do, we're going to get ourselves into another live attack, guys. We're going to see if we can get some more loot, except this time, we're going to save the heroes and use them at the end. We want to see if it makes much of a difference, guys. So the same attack strategy. However, instead of, instead of sending the, uh, the heroes in first, we're going to send them in at the end. So total damage, 65%, guys. Check out the money. Plus a 95% loot bonus, 2 star, and that means we just need another 3 star to get ourselves our final loot bonus. So we're going to train up the exact same army, guys. Literally get ourselves into a replica attack. But as I said, the king and the queen are going to be saved for the end. And we're going to see if it makes a difference. I don't really know if it's going to, but we'll find out. And uh, hopefully, it will be pretty awesome. Though I'm not going to lie, if we do find a town hall 10... I'm going to burn the Town Hall 10 to the ground, guys, because I want a 3-star. I want to get this star bonus. want to get as much money as possible in as little time as possible so that I can focus more time on my other accounts, guys. You, call, you all keep asking me, Tony, please play your other accounts, and I'm definitely going to do it. I just want to max out this base. Okay, so this couldn't have gone any better. We've just landed on a Town Hall 10. 3-star is... Oh, I, think it, I think we're going to 3-star, guys. I'm hoping we're going to do it. 215,000 gold, 300,000 elixir, very similar to the previous raid. And uh, we're going to be locating these air defenses, guys, so we can see them. They're all on the edges. The one thing we want to do is completely avoid the, uh, the air sweepers, guys. So what we're going to do, I am going to... I'm going to be using a single haste spell. And I'm going to drop in just three balloons... To take out this air defense, guys. The first air defense, I want to I want to drop it nice and quickly. There it is. And uh, maybe we can grab a cannon as well, guys. I'm not really too sure. Yes, we can. And there it is. So two buildings for the price of one. So we're now going to go in with a baby dragon on either one of these sides. And that's just to create a funnel. And then the dragon's going to go in there with the Grand Warden. One more baby dragon. And, of course, those balloons. Now, we're going to save a couple of balloons, guys. Not going to use every single one of them. And we're going to see what happens here. So we are going for a three star. Definitely a triple star on this base, guys. Other haste spells going to go in. There goes the Grand Warden's ability, making sure those, uh, those air bombs, air mines, don't really do too much damage to, of course, my poor dragons. There goes a clone spell, keeping those balloons up and alive. Let's see what's about to go down, guys. So we got plenty of clone balloons on either side of this base, but it looks like we could be in a little bit of trouble here, guys. We need to take out this uh, this other Inferno Tower, so we're going to go with the Barbarian King, the Queen just down the bottom, and then the Baby Dragon. Still got two more balloons. We're going to save them, and then once the Queen takes out that air defense, we should move in with, of course, those balloons, guys. So here we go. Air defense is getting taken out. There goes the balloons. There goes a Rage Spell. Get those Queens. Get the, uh, sorry, Dragons moving in on that Queen. Here we go. Can we take out that single target Inferno Tower, guys? Plenty of dragons on it, and it's down. Awesome. So, 77% so far. There goes our final wall breaker, and it definitely looks like a triple star, guys. So, we're going to be picking up that uh, three-star bonus. That star bonus, plus the loot bonus, plus the loot. This is looking like a lot of loot, guys. Can we get to four million gold? Let's find out. Here we go. The king making his way around the outside. There goes the queen's ability. Still got two dragons up and alive, guys. Unfortunately, my queen did run into a giant big bomb, but it doesn't really make much of a difference. Only one cannon left. It's down, and the final building about to get exterminated, guys. And there it goes. So three star in the bag. Single target Inferno Towers didn't really cause too much of an issue. Check out the money, guys. 280,000 gold, 215,000 from the raid, and an extra 360,000. And that's going to take me to... Let's find out. Do we have enough? No, we don't, guys. 3.7 million gold. So we don't quite have enough to upgrade. But let's just keep training up the same army. So as I said, this is my favorite combo. A mix of dragons, balloons, and baby dragons. Let me know down below in that comment section, guys, because I will be trying some of your attack strategies out inside of some of the next episodes. Maybe not on this account, but we might be trying it out on baby Tony. So we're currently doing an upgrade inside of this base. It is the roaster. 
835 gems. That is going to level 7, guys. I'm not really sure if I'm going to be playing much of the Builder's Base. To be honest, I don't really enjoy it that much, guys. Which is the reason why I'm not showing too much Builder Base content. But I'm not going to lie, I probably will max out my Builder's Hall 7 in time for Builder's Hall 8. Hopefully Supercell adds some, uh, some better things to the Builder's Base so I have a little bit more fun with it. But just like many of you, I'm not really enjoying it too much. But uh, stay tuned. There is going to be another episode coming shortly. As I said, it will be the Flat Tour and of course the Puppy Reveal. So leave a like if you're excited. Take a guess what breed the puppies are and I will see you shortly guys. Peace out.